Hi guys, welcome back to Will the Beat Reviews. Today we're going to talk about Batman issue 69, Nightmares, the finale, the last dance. And look at this cover. This cover is amazing. I love it. You guys know I love me some Catwoman and she is all over this comic. So let's talk about it. So this is the seventh, I believe, issue in the Nightmare storyline. I thought it was originally going to be six, but it is seven and it's the finale and kind of helps us transition out of Nightmares and into what's coming next. And we do get confirmation to what we've basically been suspecting this entire time and that is the entire Nightmares storyline has been Batman hallucinating and in this issue we figure out why, how he's getting himself out of it, and what some of these things have meant, especially what this one means and what um, some of the implications are for characters going for it. I loved it. I know hot Tom King runs hot and cold for a lot of people. This is going to be, it's a divisive series and this is going to be a divisive um, story arc. I really enjoyed seven, or I'd say I enjoyed 85% of, of what's going on. So let's unpack issue 69. So it starts out with the, this whole book is just gorgeous. Art by uh, Tom, or written by Tom King, art by uh, Yarick uh, Paquette. Hopefully, I'm pronouncing that correctly. Just stunning, stunning artwork. So it starts out with um, these beautiful layouts with music going on in the background. Uh, Bruce in his tux as he's going up to um, Catwoman, and she says, "Dance with me." And then she's got this, her wedding dress is so beautiful. Not that she, it's been a wedding yet, but hey, there we go. And he says, Selena. And, you know, she, she says, Bruce, say it again, but this time, you poor boy, don't demand, ask me. And he says, will you dance with me? And she says, yes. And then so that whole story arc is, uh, part of the story is intercut with um, Bane, f naked Bane for some reason, fighting what I thought was just an older Batman at first. I got confused by that, but it's actually Thomas Wayne, and they're basically sparring. And so um, Bane is wanting to, to spar more. Thomas is like, yeah, like this has been fun, but we got other stuff to do. And he says more and basically punches him in the face. And so they're like, all right, they, they keep they keep going at it. Um, then we go to, and this is one of the things I like most about this, is it kind of portrays a history of Batman and Catwoman's time together and kind of a history of Catwoman's costumes and her history in DC Comics. It's really cool. Um, Batman says, I've been having these dreams, nightmares, killing children, killing children, Damien in a pig mask, Joker in a sewer, you, you dead, you talking, you laughing, you. And then she says, me, and she's got her, uh, Batman Year One um, does character design there. It's so good. I love it. Then this one is really cool. I've always kind of liked this costume. It's very Silver Age, where she's just got like the purple dress on with the the green cape and the Catwoman cowl on there. And this is where we kind of get that huge um, my focus broke. Um, there we go. Um, get this huge. Um, like explanation dump of what's been going on and how Batman's figured it out, right? He says, he, she says, you're trapped. And he says, yes. And she asks how, and this is important. A while back, I exposed myself to every variation of scarecrow toxins. So there we go. Scarecrow toxins. I memorized the effects and feel of each variety. It was not pleasant as, as one would imagine. He says, but I learned enough to recognize this. And all of this is one of his innovation so he's been experiencing hallucinations and nightmares due to scarecrow toxins it says my last memory before these effects took place is of the cave my father coming for me just as i was coming for bane bane controlled arkham and controlled scarecrow my best guess is that bane is working with my father they isolated me captured me and injected me with the serum they're trying to drive me mad um and he says it's another mystery to solve before this the last time i saw him during the button my the last thing my father said to me was don't be batman so um i think he uh, expounds on it here in this uh, next page um that's why they're together bane and my father shared this motivation to stop me thomas wayne doesn't want his son to be batman and bane just wants to break the bat um then we get more uh batman or uh thomas wayne batman and uh, Bane here, and he's saying, uh, Bane tells him, Thomas Wayne, a spoiled rich man who knows nothing of what it is to bleed. I broke Batman. Who are you? 
great, great stuff. And then Batman says here, you know, like, I have to get out of this room. And I love this uh, red dress there that she's in. Uh, kind of two-page spread here with Bane and Thomas Wayne Batman. And uh, Thomas Wayne Batman's like, who am I? I'm the world's greatest detective. I'm the Cape Crusader. I'm the Dark Knight. You think you broke the Batman after all you've ever done? All you've ever done is all you ever do is play a game with a little boy, a child who needs his father, who needs who needs to know as you need to know that I'm Batman. Great stuff. Then oh, I love these layouts uh, in this one with the music in the background and the different costumes of Catwoman. Um, so Batman keeps going, explaining what he's been going through. I says, it took me some time to remember how to get through the fog to get free. And he starts to explain some of the things that he picked up on. Um, he says, uh, where does he say? Um, two page ad. I'm sorry, guys. He says, um, in experimenting with the toxins, I found the solution. It induces fear, but too much fear can overpower. And this is very key. I had to, I have to find a fear great enough, my greatest fear. Then my adrenal glands, adrenal glands will secrete the proper defenses. Scarecrow's chemicals will lose their grip. I can escape this. So basically he has to find like a greater fear than a, like a natural fear, something his body is reacting normally to. That's a greater fear than what Scarecrow's toxins are. And then his body's defenses will kick in and then flush all of the Batman, all of uh, his her serum to all of the, the toxins right um we i skipped over this page because i needed to get to that story point but bane basically beats thomas wayne's ass and says uh either way he's like i don't care if you're him or he's him meaning which one of you is batman either way you're both mine you're all nothing and i am bane cool stuff so this is where batman uh Catwoman asks him, what's your what your greatest fear? Me? What is that? And he's like, you left me. I read your note. I knew, as you know, it was a lie. It was. But I, I couldn't ask. I should have, but I was afraid. I should have asked you why. And keep in mind, this is all still very much in Batman's head. He's imagining this. And then I get this, this great page here where Bane has got his hand on Thomas Wayne's throat. And he just pulls out a gun. He still had a gun when they were sparring. And I love this line. Bane tells him, he's like, you're not like him. You cheat. And Thomas Wayne's like, no, I'm not like him. I win. I love that line. That's so great. And then they you know, kind of finish up. And this is... This is the this is the page in this comic, right? He says, um, uh, she, Catwoman says, "Why isn't it obvious? Can't you see? It's your vow, Bruce. Your suicide. That in that moment you forswore love. You forswore. You chose war." And he says, "No." And she says, "You can't love anything, anyone, but the vow, but the bat. Your darling, your simplest, your greatest fear is the simplest truth. You don't love me." Um, you don't know how because you are the Batman in your life. Batman will always come first. That's your greatest fear is that you have pushed me aside for yourself to be Batman. And this is Batman realizing that this finally admitting to himself that he has put this in front of it, his vow, his war in front of everything else in his life whether it's his love of uh catwoman of selena whether it's his you know fatherhood over all of the robins and all the bad girls and everything else like that 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 is the forefront of his life she even calls it his suicide he's gonna do this until like the day he drops dead either from old age or if it kills him first this is his greatest fear is having to admit that to himself and accept that. So this is his body realizing that that's his greatest fear, and that's what's going to flush, overcome all those other uh, scarecrow toxins, I almost said joker toxins, and push him over back back into reality. It's so, so good. And then um, we go back, and I love this kind of circular storytelling here. We go back to her in her dress as they've come Full circle started with the dress and then we went through all of her kind of historic costumes and it started with him in his tux and now he's in his Batman outfit. So at the beginning he 
thinks it's all it's that classic um, question of duality. Can Batman and Bruce Wayne coexist? And his greatest fear is that no, they can't, and that only Batman can exist, and that that will cause him to lose everything else in his life because of the vow that he made. And we see that here as the book started, he was in a tux as Bruce Wayne, but now he's in his Batman outfit, and. Um, Catwoman says, thank you for the dance, it was lovely, but the dream is done, it's time to wake up, as he's yelling out for her, so, great, great stuff, and like I said, I know a lot of people aren't going to dig this, um, partly because it's King, and partly because they they just won't, um, I won't make excuses for it, I, I enjoyed the hell out of it, clearly I've been loving on it for almost 10 minutes now, I love this story arc, I love this whole, uh, series right now, Guys, what are you thinking about it, love or hate it? Let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here at the channel, hit that subscribe button. It would mean a lot to me. And until next time, we'll see you at the comic shop.